Well, these are my are my bikes. I decided to make this video because I bought that that Yamaha on the end over there, and people were sending me emails. And my friends were getting on my case. They're like, "What the heck? You own Harley's? You raced Harley's all these years, and then you buy a Yamaha?" Well, I explained to them I've had Yamahas too, but. Here's what I have. I, I've owned this. This is an 84 FXRS Harley. Been a really good bike. Um, I got over 78,000 miles on it. And it needs some, some engine repairs. It's making noise right out of this cover here. Um, I need to... I need to get it fixed and I've been told if I have it done it's between 800 and 1200 bucks. Well, I don't know. I, then I figured this bike has been so good that I thought I'd get another bike and then uh, something a little more modern because this is a 1984. This bike here, it, um, it's, got a, it's got bags off an FXRT. They quit making the uh, FXRT in like 1987, but I got them at a rummage sale, or a friend of mine got them at a rummage sale and gave them to me. But uh, I kind of like those bags, you can get a lot of stuff in there. But uh, in the windshield, I got that at, uh, um, at a swap meet, got that for uh, about $35, had, had a little crack right here, and uh, I got the drilled a little bit of a hole right there and that keeps the crack from keeping on going. A guy who works at the airline showed me that trick about you drill a hole right at the end of your crack and it doesn't, well the crack on the windshield, not my crack, but you drill a hole right at the end of the crack and it won't keep going up. And uh, yeah I can't complain about that bike though, it's been really good. This bike is a, is a 650 Yamaha uh, this one here, I think, is a 78. I'm not positive about that. But uh, this bike I got on trade. A guy owed me 400 bucks, and he traded me this bike for it. Well, this thing here, it, it, uh, it I don't use it very much. It's kind of underpowered. I'm used to that big 1340 over there, and this is a 650. And um, it's been a good bike though. I, I put around. I I go into a town right up the road from me. And, and um Schmitty he even kinda likes it, but and oh well. But um but I run it all over the the little towns in the area and stuff and you can see the the custom stereo on here. It's kind of a kind of a beater, but it's uh the amount of money I got in it's it still runs good and stuff. But it, uh, it's like I say, it's kind of underpowered. And it, you, you can go on the country roads, but on the freeway, you can't run that thing 70. And these bags, these are off of something really, really old. I got these at, um, I think I got these at a swap meet, really cheap. But they're off like a BMW or something. And I, uh, I had to make mounts for it. But, um, but yeah, they, they, uh, they work good. I, you can get a, put a lot of beer in these bags. There's a lot of space in there. I put that cardboard in there because I wanted to put something like a helmet and it would scratch the heck out of the helmet. So I put cardboard in there to, to keep them scraping up so much. But, uh, but yeah, it's um, been a good bike. I, I, it's cheap, cheap, cheap transportation. You put a gallon of gas in there, you can go for three, four days. But uh, here's the bike that, this is a, a 19, no, a 2007 FZ1 Yamaha. This one, I've been running this thing, I've only got like 250 miles on it because it's been cold this spring. I bought it uh, beginning of April and uh, here it is, end of April, snowed yesterday. Jeez, can't believe it, 100 degrees in California and we get snow here. But I'm still out here with a stocking cap on. I got my got my gloves on. I got my my heavy jacket on. My my uh, 
Ich hab mal. Mm. 